The West Sioux Falcons' high-flying offense has been essential toward their success all season long, leading up to this moment. As Falcons aim to take home the hardware, KSU 9's Noah Sacco has more from the Unidome. Well, Anthony, not many teams get a second chance in the Dome. West Sioux is the exception. Falcons back in the Class 1A state title game in a rematch of last year's state championship with brewing dynasty Van Meter. A prime chance to dethrone the defending champs and claim their third overall crown. West Sioux offense among the top three in the class in nearly every scoring category, searching for their first title since 2018. Van Meter in its fourth straight chipper. Bulldogs show their bite on the opening drive. Ben Gilliard going to the air. Carter Durflinger is wide open. 18-yard touchdown. Dogs take a 7-0 lead. Nothing much doing for the Falcons. Van Meter back to work early in the second quarter. Jillian keeps it himself. Rumbles five yards to Pater. Two drives, two touchdowns for the defending champs. 14-0. West Sioux fighting back moments later. Carter Bolton the carry. Bullies his way through for a nice third down conversion. Same drive. Dylan Wiggins looking to get the Falcons on the board. Going for the home run ball. Picked off by Will Gordon in the end zone. Dogs take a 14-0 lead into half. Late in the third quarter, Van Meter up 21 zip after a pick six. West Sioux at the goal line. Boltman takes a direct snap, uses the jump throw to find Mason Coppock for the touchdown. Trickery from two yards out gets the Falcons on the board 21-7. Van Meter on the response in the fourth. Jillian hits Aiden Netton over the middle. It's off to the races. 61-yard house call, 28-7 game. Bulldog defense continuing to give headaches to the end. Wiggins intercepted by John Braun. He takes it all the way back. Wiggins picked off four times in this one as West Sioux falls 35-7 to end their season as state runners up for the second year in a row, but plenty to be proud of for the Falcons to get to this point. It's pretty big for, you know, all of us. It's definitely, you know, the hardest game to lose, but it's essentially, you know, the best game to lose. So I wouldn't rather be anywhere else with my team. What we've accomplished all year is uh, we've got to keep our heads up about that and how hard we work. We can't take that for granted. And, you know, I know that the season didn't end how we kind of wanted to, but it was still a good year. We talk about family all the time and playing for each other and those sort of things. And, you know, I, I, I lost my mom um, partway through the season. And um, these guys were, they were my family. They're my, you know, they're my guys and, and they're just, they're awesome dudes. I mean, I really enjoyed myself and I enjoyed these guys. The Falcons end their season at 11 and two, capping off another great run from the Hayward and Bunch. Well, that's a wrap on IHSAA State Football here at the Unidome. Congratulations to both of our winners. But for now, I'll send it back to you, Anthony, from Cedar Falls, Noah Sacco, KC9 Sports.